I'd like to show you some really interesting stuff about worries and how the brain works. Imagine this is your brain. Let's take a closer look at this tiny little section down here that's shaped a bit like an almond. This little guy's main job is to keep you safe. It looks out for danger and helps you take action if you need to. It's actually really useful. Imagine that you step out onto the road when you suddenly hear the screech of a car racing towards you. You won't have time to think about a plan, but guess what? You jump out of the way. Your body just moved away without thinking. Yep, you guessed it. It was thanks to this tiny part of the brain. This is also the part of the brain that helped our cavemen ancestors stay safe from wild animals. Well, how does it work? When we feel unsafe, the brain kicks into action. It sends messages through the body that help pump the heart really quickly. That way, the heart can send extra blood to places we really need in an emergency, like our legs, so we can run faster, or our arms, so we can be stronger and protect ourselves better. So whenever we feel worried or threatened, this part of the brain jumps into action and saves us from harm. Thanks, little worry dude. But one minute, what about all those times you feel worried about something that can't hurt your actual body? Like worrying about a test, being left out, or missing your parents? When this happens, your brain doesn't understand the difference between actual danger and mind worries. So your brain and body act in the same way as though it was being chased by a vicious beast. Even if there's not an actual reason to run to safety, the heart still pumps extra blood to your arms and legs to make you stronger and faster. The problem is, there's no beast and no reason to use up that extra blood in your arms and legs. So some weird and uncomfortable feelings can hang around in your body. It can make you feel like your heart is pumping super fast or that you just have to fidget, or like you really want to run away. But what about all the other stuff that happens when I worry, like a wonky tummy or a fuzzy brain? Have you ever thought about where all that extra strong blood in your arms and legs has come from? It's the heart's clever way of moving blood around your body. It takes it away from places it doesn't need in an emergency, like your tummy. That's why you might have strange tummy feelings like butterflies or a tummy ache. It can also move some blood out of your brain, making it hard to think straight. This can make your worries sometimes exaggerate how much danger you're in. For some of us, it can make us super angry, making us do things we're not really proud of, like blame, yell, or hurt people we love. It's not easy when the worries are huge and the sensible thinking gets hidden. But remember, when your brain changes your body in this way, it isn't trying to make you feel yucky on purpose. It just can't tell the difference between a charging beast and a school problem. So when you get these feelings, it's important to remember there is nothing wrong with you. It's just the brain's way of trying to keep you safe.